It's always tough being soy on the internet nowadays. Maybe Donald Trump decided to troll Kamala Harris for lying about working in McDonald's and did a great publicity stunt by working in McDonald's for a few minutes and you are seething. So you have to go online and tell everyone, actually, Donald Trump didn't fill out an application form or have an interview. He wasn't an employee of McDonald's at all. It was all a fun political stunt. Got him. Maybe your only wish is to be taken seriously as a political commentator, but you will always be remembered but there's a guy who let the world drill his wife instead. Maybe you're the quartering. But no one could possibly be more soy than the main subject of today's video, Tim Pool. Now, Tim Pool has really made a name for himself as being a primo commentator for midwit takes, daily declarations of civil war, and hosting weird degenerates masquerading as manly men. Whoops, not that one, this one. And does anyone remember Eliza Blue, a woman who shot to internet fame with a harrowing tale of human trafficking? Tim Pool had her on the podcast many times, and when it came to light, she was obviously lying about it. Tim Pool didn't apologise for being fooled by such an obvious liar. He instead blamed the audience for noticing someone was lying. And you see, that's the kind of person Tim Pool is. A raging egomaniac who never thinks he could possibly be wrong about anything. One more proof of that? He made a song once. It was one of the worst songs ever made. He can't sing a note. And instead of learning and never doing that again, like a normal person, he keeps on releasing progressively worse and worse music to this day. Anyway, back to present day, and Tim posted this on his channel, saying, this might be the last Tim cast. Well, I'm sure that's clickbait and obviously a hilarious joke, but no, Tim Pool had comedian Dave Landau on his show and then cried to him for two hours about how hard it is to have a podcast, the easiest profession known to man. And during the crying, he explained, explains how he employs 30 people to make a podcast and those 30 people are all his stoner skater friends and no one does any work. I mean, why would you if a gimp wearing a beanie hat had hired you to be his friend? And then says one of the weirdest things I've heard a grown man say. He works so hard screaming about civil war into a webcam, he hasn't seen a weekday sunset in four years because all of his employees don't do any work. Well, that's kind of on you, buddy. Maybe fix it rather than weeping on your gay podcast. And what did all this meltdown start over. Well, Tim Pool and his Galaxy Brain posse got bamboozled by a graphics card failing in his new studio. Yes, Tim Pool, a man who has just told everyone he somehow works 16 hours a day running a podcast that just talks about the same thing every single day, didn't think to have a backup computer or even a spare graphics card during one of those arduous 16 hour shifts. So this whole operation goes down over one component. Guys, I think Tim Pool might be an idiot, you know. Well, what a sad tale. A remarkably stupid stupid man gets lucky and then hires all the stoners down his local skate park to be his friend. Oh yeah, during this horroring totally real 16 hour shifts prepping for a podcast, Tim Pool, a 38 year old man, mentions he skateboards every single day. And in a stunning turn of events, said stoners don't do any work. So Tim Pool has a two hour struggle session live on air, explains how awesome he is and how bad everyone else is, fires everyone and quits the show. Hmm, I bet having to pay 30 idiots a wage after the Russian payments dried up didn't help either. That's that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, boy.